again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 14 by 14 inch canvas, a bunch of little acetate tools that I'm probably going to use to scrape up some paint off of, and a palette knife. And I am going to be weird. I'm going to use some pillow paint as long as I can get my container open, which I should have checked already. I'm going to put some of it right on my canvas. doesn't look like I have an awful lot there. And then I'm going to use some Aussie Floatrol. And blow it around. And then I'm going to do the exact opposite thing and I'm going to try and use some black pillow paint. That's both, they're both color place semi gloss from Walmart. And I have not tried the black version of this, so that should be very interesting. And this is all to help me set up a background to do some blooms, probably. We shall see. And I'm kind of thinking I'm going to leave it thick. And I might swipe some. I might wish that was <laughs> that was pouring. That's not pouring. I am going to take a moment because I would like to be able to pour that paint out of there. Okay, there's no way to know if that's going to work or not. I'm just going for it anyway. That's not working. Okay, time to grab a skewer. There, I have something happening. And I'm going to just continue on my process. Put some Amsterdam white there. Grab a palette knife. This is all to experiment to see how things are going to work. Potentially for transfer swiping. But I'm kind of loving what I'm doing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You never know. I'm fully capable of changing my mind. Since the first one didn't go... Probably blew too hard. I, I was never sure there was a, so much, such a thing as blowing too hard. And I probably still don't believe it. But we have some really cool stuff happening here. I'm wondering if I put my top back on. No, I'm just going to pour another puddle. Now I could use some colors, but I'm really liking what I'm seeing. All of this is to help me pull some of these things together. In a semi-unified way. Which may or may not be the point in the end. It's just fun to watch. I think a few more black pieces would be good. So I've wanted to do this for a while. I've 
maybe it'll just wind up being black and white flowers. I don't know if anybody else has done this already. They may have. I haven't seen it happen. I do like black and white. And I definitely wanted to try a larger scoop to put paint down with, but I'm feeling less than secure about how that's going to work. Oh, and it doesn't want to come out anymore. There is something blocking my way. Okay. We'll work with what we've got. Use a little more pillow paint. So I, keep, I realize I keep going back and forth without announcing which one I'm doing. And this is the black pillow paint. As long as this is open, I'm going to use the white. And I will put my potential flowers in afterwards if I still even want to do that. Which do not incidentally need pillow paint under them and come out really beautiful and shiny and iridescent. That's so cool. I'm loving this. I will run out of pillow paint, although I think I have another bottle around here somewhere. Okay, this, that was the pillow paint. This is the Amsterdam Black. And I'm still really happy with how these are working out. That one was without any paint underneath it in the center. Let's try it with a straw. Breath is honestly just so much more satisfying, I can't even tell you. So that's pretty cool so far, so good. I think I'm going to be tempted by the bloom factor. So what have I got? I've got pink carnation. Do I want to put some gold under there? I might want to try a little Mayan gold some pink carnation because the black and whites look like flowers too and at least in my opinion they do all right do I want to do that or do I just want to okay I'm going to take that's the pink carnation I'm going to put a little bit of pink diamond in there before I drop There we go. That's cool. If I have any space like that. I'll just blow it out a little. This is so cool. All right, I'm going to go for the mix of Big Apple and Orange Crush. And this time I'm not going to use anything underneath because I really want to experiment with this. Then I'm going to use the pink carnation. And I'm tempted to use the white. Let's use the white and the black this time. I'm liking that too. This may mean that I have to fill in with some stuff, like 
just put a little bit more pillow paint right in here. Which now that I think about it, could have been anything. So I'm wanting another flower over here, and I'm thinking Tuscan Sun would be lovely. I did shake up all my bottles before I did this, and it took a little while, because there are quite a few of them. I'm going to use some of the, the mix of Big Apple and Orange Crush. some of the lighter golden poppy, which I do think I shook, but better safe than sorry. And back to the black. Get a little bit of greenishness, but that's okay. I'm kind of drawn to something in here, but I think I'm going to keep sticking to my spaces. And I'm going to use, start with some of my gold again. Mayan gold. A little bit of the deep amethyst. A little bit of pink, pink diamond. And go for the white. No, I'm going for the black. I also have purple and magenta, so I'm thinking about those also. So far, so good. I'm not hating any of that. I'm definitely thinking about cerulean blue. Down here, under some Mayan gold, on top of some Mayan gold, rather. Cerulean blue and some frozen. And just for general principles, I haven't used enough of this blue bonnet yet, which is gorgeous. I'm tempted by a little bit of pink. I think I'm going, going to go there. A little bit more pink, pink diamond. I'm going to go for the white first. Oh, that's pillow paint. That was dumb. Sorry. Oh well, let's see what happens. It'll be what it'll be. We'll just accept it as it is and we'll do those same colors again. That was really dumb. Oh well. I was expecting something very cool there too. Alright, I'm going to try that without any pillow paint. That was just bass backwards. Okay, there's the gold. There's the cerulean blue. There's the blue bonnet. Leave that pillow paint alone. Here's the white. Perfect. There are no mistakes. There's only lessons. That was a hard lesson. So far, I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing. I kind of want, I'm being drawn to some more yellow. And it, it isn't bad. It didn't go as green as I thought it might. I'm going to use some of the mix of Orange Crush and Big Apple. And I like the white and the black combination, so I'm going to do that again. Now that I got my head straight. I definitely love the black and white background. 
which is kind of the star of the show too. And I could put some more, some some, some more black cell activator in there, and probably. a few things around. I'm pretty sure. I haven't even used a single one of these. A few spirals never hurt anything. Especially if they're subtle ones. Just looking for little gaps. I've got a gap over here. I can fill that in. Let's use the pillow paint. I think I'm going to use some of the black. I might run out of time because this is doing something new that's elaborate is a time consuming process. All right, that's cool. That's paint that filled in over my edge. I was feeling like that was coming. So I do sell my artwork and I do have over 2,500 videos, 2,400 of which are available to watch. Come out. I do use GAC 800 and even in my pillow paints, so I'm suspecting that it'll be okay. There's a lot of what I would consider negative space with the black and the white. Yeah, I'm using my fingers. <laughs> I will probably make sure there are no gaps. There are a couple that I can see. I'm thinking maybe one more flower right here and it should be bright. Let's just go simple. Just with the pink diamond. Oh well. There, I like that. So, what can I tell you guys? Please share my videos. If you like what I do, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, this is a totally different style than I've seen anybody do, which is kind of something I'm happy about. I'm going to probably throw some black or some white paint on my edges. It doesn't have to be pillow paint. It can be something else. None of my paint is so thick that I need to worry about pouring it away, I don't think. If I have a couple of things here and there that I might want to spiral. I could embellish things if I wanted to, I'm sure, more than I've done, like in just add a few flourishes. I don't think they'll hurt anything if I do, but um, I really kind of like the simplicity of this. Lots of negative space. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Know that I appreciate you, and uh, if you want to help me out, know that there is a monthly drawing, and you can find the prizes for the person's name who gets drawn on the first of the month, included in the exhibition video that's on the end screen of this video in the last 20 seconds. Kind of want to put something in there still. I'm thinking a little gold might not hurt anything. I'm liking a lot of what's going on here. I might be crazy. No, actually, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> All right, so you're going to be gone in a moment. I'm not. Pr I'm pretty sure shimmering at this isn't going is a moot point, but. Somebody might want a close up, so I'm going to try and get up there and give you one really quickly. Tell you Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, all on my link tree, along with my Amazon link. And if you shop there, it's at no to cost you, and you'll find my two books and four lists of tools and toys and paints and and all kinds of stuff. My email address is below the link tree. Underneath show more, you'll find my paint pouring recipe. Underneath the link tree, uh, you'll also I do give I sell my art and I give lessons at the house in Springfield, Florida. And I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. I am liking the negative space from up here too. Cool. So I'll see you anon.
Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying I love you. Thank you for inspiring the heck out of me. Leave me a comment if you want to. Question, questions are fine and uh, whatever I'm forgetting